Hey everyone, Rob John Webb here, and what I want to talk to you today about is AI, AI, AI. It's all the rage these days. Everyone's going on about it, no matter what industry you're involved in, whether it's the car industry or blogging or writing or whatever. Everyone's going on about AI is going to do this, AI is going to stop that, AI is going to end your business. End that. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It might in some. However, in music production, I don't believe so. But I've only been touching the surface with it, obviously. Anyway, right, I come from an older school. I come from an organic school of making music where you had to physically get involved. You had to put the hours in and you had to do this and do that and wire stuff and check stuff and go through so many disappointments and failures and blah, blah, blah. However, one thing that you do learn in music production over the years, which I've found, obviously, over 25, 30 years of it, is you can never stop learning, okay? And you can always develop something more and more and more the more you do it. Now, the thing is with what I've discovered today on this AI thing is um, the fact that it can do things for you, what I'm going to show you, but you've still got to have that element. You've still got to have the human element. You've still got to put in some tweaking and some twitching and some fixing up what I've discovered anyway on this thing. Um, it may get better as time goes by, but at the moment, I don't think it's, you know, all that at the minute, but it is very good um, in a sense um, on some level. However, what I'm going to show you is a company that I've made an integrated Ableton live plugin where it's got five different types of um, AI tools to use so that you can create stuff quicker uh, and faster and blah, blah, blah. One's called Continue, Groove, Generate, Four Bars, Drum Refine, Interpolo. I'm not going to go through them all because I don't simply want to, but I'm going to do the Drumify one, okay? And that is what we're going to focus on today. And the Drumify thing basically creates drum patterns for you based on the rhythm and the melody of your music. So my glasses are steaming up, and I'm not going to edit the video because let's keep it real, shall we? Right? Right. For example, you've got a Rhodes riff, right? Like this. <laughs> whatever the software drumify will take that midi pattern and it will transfer it into a drum pattern that is in line with that so for example if you've got a track right and you're going like this that's the main gist but then you have a part of the song that goes like this you know you've got chords going down or you go off into a solo like whatever, right, it will follow the lead of your 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 music. So all you do, once you've downloaded this software, and it's completely free, um, it's interesting to use, but as I say, you still have to have a human element afterwards. You still have to edit it. You still have to change the levels and stuff, which is what I found. So here is a pattern I've put in. I've done a Rhodes riff in A minor, uh, A minor 7, and I've done a very basic 808 drum kit um, pattern. And it's, this is the original, what I've programmed in myself. Yeah, it just goes round and round. So, what I've done here is I've copied that pattern down here, which is this one. So, I've, I've duplicated that first pattern. In here, look, you've got all of these different ones. As I say, I've not had time to go through them yet, but the Drumify one is the one that's caught my eye the most. So, I'm going to click on Drumify and I'm going to click it here for the Rose channel, okay? And there it comes up. So, what you do is you go input clip. And I choose the roads, and we're going to choose roads two. Now make sure you leave a gap between each one, each MIDI clip that you've got, otherwise it'll overwrite the one underneath. So I've changed that roads to one, roads two, and I'm going to click generate. And if you watch underneath now, look, I've got a blue clip that comes up, look, and under there is roads two. Okay, so I'm going to drag that MIDI file over to my drum rack, double click on it, and it's created a drum pattern based on that that rhythm. So if I press these two now, they're my originals. And then, so what I mean? It's created that new drum pattern with the snare and the kick. So it's giving you, it's giving you different variations of drum patterns in an instant. But I've, as I've said, you still have to, that snare's not loud enough. It's, it, it, it's loud enough in a sense, but it's done all the velocities at the bottom. So it's it's velocity sensitive, which is great, but you still have to, I still think that the, the snare's too low. So you'll have to tweak it in a sense. So I'll select all my snares. 
So I'd bring them up a bit more, you know what I mean, in the mix. However, that's that one. So that's what it does, basically. It kind of gives you different variations of drum patterns, which is pretty cool, but you still have to have that element. So the next chord that I've got, I'm just going to stop that now. I'm just going to play the next one is those chords going down. So, And I've got a little trill at the end. However, let's uh, do the same on that. So we go to um, the template at the bottom here, Drumify, check, click that. And then we choose clip, so roads again, but this time roads three, clip. Temperature, I've not looked at that yet. I don't quite know what that means. So there you go, look. It's created a pattern based around the chords. So let's have a look, see what happens there. I don't even know what's going to happen here. So there we go, look. So if we play my original riff, then the generated one, and then we're going to go for the chords. Very simple. I could do that myself in 10 seconds. But it's got that. So I mean, it's kind of giving you a breakdown. I like that. And then we go back to the original. So that is the Drumify. I think that is pretty cool in a sense that it creates patterns for you that you probably wouldn't think of doing. And you can enhance them. So, for example, this one here, like this bottom one um, here. See, what I, it's got the crash in there. Obviously, it's an 808, so it's not a very good crash. But what you could do in there is you could stick in some, um, some rides. So, let's, for example, where is the 808 ride? There isn't an 808 ride, is there? Is there an 808 ride? Let's put some, like, uh, maracas in there. So, you could have, like, let's get them close up of it. You could have just just throwing them really quickly, so like this look. So you could have these in there. See so what I mean? Just as a breakdown, or you could even take out the kick. You could lose the kick. And... But you could the, the that pattern is very simple. It's very basic. You could program that in yourself. But personally, sometimes I forget to like think. Oh, this could just do with the drums dropping out here. Um, you know, well, I could take the kick out there and stuff. It it kind of gives you the ideas that you wouldn't necessarily come up with straight away you know you might it might slip your mind but it gives you a raw template in a sense that you can add to then back to the second one you know you get the idea of that and there's other things you can do with it you can you can put um waves into it And what I want to do is right click on that and slice to new MIDI track and just click OK. And it's going to slice 25 transients of that. OK. And it's going to now put it into a MIDI file. So then what I do is I get them again to software again, bung that onto the guitar chords um, channel, which has now been converted into um, MIDI. OK. Now, again, drumify onto this. And then what it will do is it will, so we'll choose drum, guitar chords, clip, guitar chords, generate. And then it's going to create another pattern based around the um, guitar. So let's play these two like this. Look, watch this. It's nuts, isn't it? So it kind of gives you an instant sort of, it's like a breakbeat, I suppose, in a sense. It's got that breakbeat feel. As obviously you can see, if you look at the pattern, there's a lot of, you know, it's not exactly quantized. It's got a little bit of rawness in there, so it gives it a bit of a swing feel, I suppose, with those snares. But but you know, you get the idea of that. So there you go. That's the Drumify um, option within the plugin for Ableton uh, AI software. Go ahead and download it. The link is in the description. See what you think. Have a play with it. There's five different options in there for different types of um, ideas that you can use and go forth and see what you think. So AI, is it here to stay? Yes, it is. Is it a gimmick? Yes, it can be. Not all the time, you know, but just remember this. Remember NFTs. Where are they now? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.